terms and what and all the terms related to their urinary system or renal system so the entire terms and its definition we are going to study under this topic so coming to the first one so these are arranged in alphabetical order usually so and urea and urea urea means related to urine and urea means absence of urine there is complete lack of urine production urine is not produced in this case and lack of urine ex excretion so due to some kidney damage or kidney failure the urine is not produced at all that condition we call it as an urea so in any medical terms if a or an is used in the prefixes prefixes means which comes in the beginning of the word if a or an is used means absence azotemia so usually in our body the by products of protein metabolism are nitrogenous waste products such as urea uric acid creatine these things are the end products of protein metabolism so azotemia azotemia means the nitrogenous waste is in the blood if you get emia as the suffix e m i a emia means related to the blood if you get urea u r a urea means related to the urine azoto means nitrogenous waste next calculus calculus means calcium deposits so the calcium got deposited in the form of stones the stone formed within the organ because of the mineral salts like calcium carbonate crystals so catheter so for example if the patient was hospitalized and he is unable to walk and uh, he was completely bedridden but, but uh, how his urination has to be done with with the help of a flexible tube that is connected to the urethra so then his urine is collected from the tube into the urine, uh, urinary bag so that flexible tube which is connected to the urethra we call it as catheter next diuresis usually if the if the person is having increased blood pressure they will give the drugs called diuretics usually the diuretics will increase the urine so that's how the body blood volume will get decreases and the blood pressure will decreases automatically and uresis and uresis means involuntary discharge of urine so we also call it as bed wetting so usually this happens with old age people or children and here we have the picture of renal calculi so you can see these are the kidney stones so this the kidney stone is formed in the renal pelvis and uh, this uh, calyx area and uh, in the renal pyramids also we have the stones and frequency frequency means greater urgency to urinate means they can't able to control to urinate they can't able to hold the urine so no increase in total volume of urine here but suddenly they will have a feeling to urinate hesitancy hesitancy means uh, the flow of the urine will get decreases so usually the flow will be very slow and often difficult to initiate the urine also for example when the person want to go for a urine urine check then they ask him to take a sample of the urine so when he want to initiate the urination he is unable to do that we call it as hesitancy and micturition which is the another term for urination urination micturition voiding all the three are same nothing but uh, bringing the urine out of the body nephrology nephro means kidney so nephrology is diagnosis and treatment of the condition particularly related to the kidney renal colic so usually there will be some children uh you would have seen also they will be keep on crying for hours like 3 uh, to 4 hours continuously they will be keep on crying newborn babies we don't know what is the reason whether it was a stomach pain or any leg pain or any anywhere it was a discomfort we don't know properly but they will be continuously crying so those child we call it as those kind of babies we call it as colic babies colic means some type of pain which is unexplained likewise renal colic means pain caused by kidney stones stricture stricture means if the urinary system got narrowed if the passage got narrowed then that condition we call it as stricture 
and uremia. So, emia means related to the blood. So, accumulation of waste products in the blood, we call it as uremia. Urgency, feeling to urinate immediately. When the person is on urgency means you need to urinate on an immediate basis. Urinary incontinence means they will lose the control on their bladder. They can't control the urination. So that condition we call it as urinary in incontinence. So for example, usually this will be seen for old age people and pregnancy women. Post-pregnancy, they'll have this condition, urinary incontinence. So you, before the pregnancy, they can hold the urine. But after pregnancy, it will be quite harder for the woman to hold the urine. At the same time, if any surgery is happened in the pelvic region, then also there will be a problem with urinary incontinence. Next, urinary retention. Means they are inability to fully empty the bladder. They can't empty the bladder fully. Urology. Diagnosis and treatment of diseases related to the urinary system. So that is urology. Particularly, they are dealing with only urinary system. Voiding, another term for urination. Urination, voiding, micturation. All the three are same. And coming to the kidney pathology, acute tubular necrosis. Necrosis means abnormal death of the cells. After death of the cells, the cells will become hardened. So, for example, if we had any injury, so we will develop a scar. So scar uh, uh, and that scar will be very hard. So like this ne necrosis will be there. Acute means very recent. Tubular means all the nephrons are made up of tubules only. So any damage to the renal tubules so because of toxins in the urine. So the person will be having oligouria. Oligouria means they will excrete little, little amounts of urea, urine. So diabetic nephropathy. Diabetic, because of diabetes, kidneys got damaged. So that we call it as diabetic nephropathy. Because of high, high sugar levels in diabetes mellitus, the glomerular capillaries will get damaged. Glomerulonephritis, inflammation of the kidney. Itis means inflammation. So, so because of the inflammation, the protein and blood also will come in the urine. So that's, that was the first thing to be noted. Just a moment. Okay, sorry, let's continue. Okay, could you able to get the slides? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can able to understand, right? Yeah. Okay. Next, uh, glomerulonephritis, inflammation of the kidney. If you anywhere, if you get itis as the suffix means, it is inflammation. Glomerulonephro, means glomerulus is present inside the kidney, as well as nephro means kidney. So inflammation of the kidney. If there is any damage with the kidney, the protein and blood will be there in the urine. Hydronephrosis. This is distinction of renal pelvis. Distinction means the renal pelvis will fall from that position. And due to heavy accumulation of urine in the kidney. So what happens if the kidney got filled with more amount of urine? The kidney will fall from that position. So in this case, the renal pelvis will be falling from that position. So that we call it as hydronephrosis. Here hydro means urine because most amount of the urine is contains water. That's why they named it as hydro. And coming to the next. Nephrolithiasis. Nephro means kidney. Lith means stone. Osis or asis means abnormal condition. Abnormal condition of kidney stones. So presence of calicli or solidification of salts in the urine. Nephrotic syndrome. Damage to the glomerulus, we call it as nephrotic syndrome. If any problem with the kidney, 
you just indicate the protein and blood will appear in the urine nephroptosis nephro means kidney optosis optosis means falling as i already told you if the kidney is got filled with urine heavily when the urine is not coming out of the ureter then the kidneys with the weight it will fall from that position that we call it as nephroptosis downward displacement of the kidney or floating kidney we also call it as polycystic kidney so we are very familiar with the word pcod polycystic ovarian disease if the same thing happens for the kidney then we call it as polycystic kidney so these will happen to the people who are very regularly uh, consuming the carbohydrate carbon dioxide drinks such as cool drinks or uh, very much less uh, taking less amount of water like hydration levels was very low for those people they are having a chance of getting this polycystic kidney so usually on their kidney there will be multiple water bubbles so that destroys that normal kidney pyelonephritis pyelo means renal pelvis nephritis inflammation of the kidney inflammation particularly to the renal pelvis so which is a very common type of kidney disease renal cell carcinoma anywhere if you have seen the word carcinoma means so you sure shot it was a cancer so this is cancerous tumor to the renal tubules renal failure renal failure or heart failure if any organ got failed so that means i am unable to do the function so completely the organ was arrested i can't do any function so that we call it as failure so coming to the renal failure inability of the kidney to filter the waste products so which results in uremia uremia means waste products got accumulated in the blood and next wilms tumor wilms tumor is a type of malignant kidney tumor so two words are very common for cancer one is carcinoma carcinoma means cancer at the same time malignancy means also cancerous so malignancy means spreading the cancer from one organ to another organ so most most often found in children so if the person is having cancer so if he is having malignant type of cancer it is very dangerous it can spread to the entire body so the person may die eventually also next urinary bladder pathology bladder cancer means the cancerous tumor arising in the bladder so the symptoms will be hematuria hematuria means uh, blood will be seen in the urine hemato means blood urea means urine bladder neck obstruction so bladder neck means uh, the nearby the bladder near, in the male urinary system below the bladder they have a prostate gland so due to enlargement of that prostate gland the bladder neck will get obstructed that we call it as bladder neck obstruction for example if uh, assume it was a balloon so nearby the balloon mouth if you put a pressure what happens there will be an obstruction the air will not come out of the balloon so the same thing here assume the bladder was a balloon nearby the neck we have the prostate gland assume the prostate gland as the fingers that is pressing the bladder neck so the urine will not come out that easily so the same thing will happen here also cystocele cystocele means the urinary bladder is protruding the vagina because the vagina was located behind the urinary bladder due to some problem the urinary bladder is protruding the vagina is pressing the vagina that we call it as cystocele interstitial cystitis cyst means bladder so interstitial means inflammation and irritation of the bladder neurogenic bladder so neural control will will lost because from the bladder we can't control the urine at all so they don't know when they are urinating they don't know when the bladder is getting filled that overall control will get lost uti urinary tract infection this is very common i i hope we all have experienced this uti urinary tract infection so due to some bacterial fungus or protozoal infection so the urinary tract will get severe itching pain 
and sometimes pus cells will be seen in the urine and they'll have epithelial cells also the urine will looks very yellowish in color and turgid some types of white flakes will be seen in the urine so this we call it as uti urinary tract infection so which is sometimes the person will get fever also because of uti so it can attack to the uh, urethra bladder uterus and it can go for the kidneys also till the kidneys also so it has to be treated immediately and coming to the clinical laboratory test blood urea nitrogen so for example if we had any issue with the urine so there was the urine was very darker in color and there was pain while urinating if we go for a check then the physician will write the test blood urea nitrogen so they will take the blood and they will see the amount of nitrogenous waste in the blood and then they will confirm the kidneys are not working properly if the kidneys are working properly the urine will will have uh, more amount of this urea blood uh, urea nitrogen so that's why the nitrogenous waste got more in the blood because the kidney got failed to filter it, filter it next clean cat specimen so usually during clean cat specimen they will clean the urethra with uh, uh, sorry with hydrogen peroxide they will clean the urinary opening and they will collect the sample so that we call it as clean cat specimen creatin clearance it was the kidney function test so they will check the amount of creatin in the blood and compare it with the urine so they will collect the both the urine and blood and they will see the amount of creatin in the blood and amount of creatin in the urine based on that they will compare it urinalysis they will collect the sample of urine and they will check the entire things in the urine like color of the urine odor and any abnormality like sodium amount of sodium amount of potassium amount of water if the urine is having any pus cells any epithelial cells any blood cells so this entire thing we call it as urinalysis physical chemical and microscopic examination urine culture and sensitivity if the person is having a uti urine tract infection urinary tract infection what happens here is so they will take the urine sample and give it to the lab and they will check what type of bacteria got infected to the urine uh, urinary tract then according to the bacteria they will give the prescribed antibiotics and cystography cysto means bladder graphy means x ray so the process of taking an x ray of particularly about the bladder so by injecting a dye without injecting the contrast dye they can't take an x ray of particularly to the bladder excretory urography so they'll inject the dye into the blood stream and they will uh, take an x ray of the urinary system entire urinary system next intravenous pyelogram pyelo means renal pelvis gram means taking an x ray taking an x ray of renal pelvis by injecting a dye into the vein kidney ureter and bladder taking an x ray of the entire kidney ureter and bladder here they don't involve any dye retrograde pyelogram so they will inject a dye usually the dye is injected intravenously but in this case of retrograde pyelogram pyelogram means taking an x ray of particularly about the renal pelvis but here they will inject the dye to the urethra and they will take the entire x ray voiding cysto urethrography for example this uh, x ray was taken when they will place the dye in the bladder directly into the bladder and they will take the x ray when the patient is urinating so they will ask the person to urinate and they will take the x ray cystoscopy visual examination of urinary bladder with the help of the instrument called cystoscope they will have a small camera at the edge of that instrument they will insert that instrument through the urethra and they will see the monitor in the monitor what is happening inside the bladder next coming to the medical treatments catheterization when the patient is bedridden they will insert the catheter into the urethra to collect the urine in the urinary bag extra corporeal shock wave lithotripsy so this means when the person is having renal stones or renal callicle like so with the help of this uh, shock wave lithotripsy they will crush the stones 
So this is actually non-invasive surgery. Means they are. This is not a surgical process. With the rays, with the shock wave rays, they will try to uh, crush the stones. Hemodialysis. When it was a kidney failure, when the lungs, when the kidneys was unable to do the work, then it was substituted by a machine. We call that as dialytic machine. So we will make the blood to move into the dialytic machine. Whatever the work done by the kidneys, now it is done by the dialysis machine. And after purifying the blood, so the blood will be returned back to the body. Peritoneal dialysis. In this uh, peritoneal dialysis, so they will put a chemical into the peritoneal cavity. So that chemical will purify the blood. So this was early stage of uh, kidney failure. So this is peritoneal dialysis. This is actually the fluid. So what is the solvent which cleans the blood? After cleaning, the waste products are collected in this bag. This is peritoneal dialysis. Lithotripsy, surgical crushing of the stones in the bladder as well as in the urethra. Meotomy, meato means opening. So meotomy means cutting the opening. Nephrolithotomy. So in order to take the stones out, uh, they will cut the kidney. That we call it as nephrolithotomy. Renal transplant. When the person is having a kidney failure, they will manage with dialysis. But they have to find a donor kidney. Till that they will manage with dialysis. But later on, so the kidney was replaced by donor kidney. So here is the place actually the kidney was placed. These are the kidneys. If one kidney got damaged, two kidneys got damaged, they will uh, put the new kidney at this place. Coming to the pharmacology, antibiotics. If the person is having glomerulonephritis or uh, cystitis or uh, uteritis, okay, or urinary, urinary tract infection, the, they'll, they'll be prescribed to antibiotics. So that treats the bacterial infection. Antispasmodic. So this will reduce the bladder spasm. Bladder spasm means involuntary muscle contraction. Diuretics. Diuretics will be given for the heart patients who is having the increased blood pressure. So diuretics will increase more amount of urine. So because of more amount of urine, the blood volume will get decreases. So obviously the blood pressure will decrease. Yeah, that's it.